Hey guys, what's up? It's Maz here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to stream to Twitch in the year 2016 for free. Uh, the methods really haven't changed between the past few years, but I'm still going to be teaching you guys how to do it for free, and all that good stuff. So, before we get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're ready, because I'm on my way to 9,000 subscribers and I hope it's appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first two biggest requirements that you're going to need to stream and actually have fun doing it are having a good computer. So, or a good laptop, really either works. I highly recommend having a computer over a laptop, but if you have a good laptop, you'll be fine. Um, and trust me, a MacBook does not qualify as a good laptop as much as I want it to, because I love my MacBook, it really does not count. So, essentially I have my PC specs on screen, but basically any PC you bought probably within the past year or so, if it's a gaming PC or whatever like that, it probably qualifies as a good PC to use to stream with. And the second thing that you want is a good internet connection. It doesn't need to be the best, but it needs to be pretty solid. So if you want to avoid the potentially awkward conversation about your internet speed with your parents, just open up the link in the description called speedtest.net, and you should be taken to this site over here. So essentially all you have to do from here is just click on the little like triangle in the middle, and from there, it's just going to go ahead and uh, test your ping, your download speed, and your upload speed. So I'm going to let my test actually go on, and then I'll get back to you guys once it's done. Alright guys, so my test just finished, and uh, once your test does finish, be sure to not close out of this tab. Keep it open, because we're going to refer back to it in a few minutes. But essentially, you want to make sure that your upload speed is at least higher than 2. If it's 1.5, you'll be fine, but try making it 2 or higher, because you're not going to be able to stream in a nice quality and actually play it properly unless it is around that area. So once you've done this, what you want to do next is go to the other link in the description and open up Open Broadcaster software. Alright guys, so once you open up the obsproject.com link, you're going to see these two uh, different links. So essentially if you're on Mac, Windows, Linux, you can go ahead and use this one. But for video purposes, I'm going to be using OBS Classic. So I highly recommend downloading this one if you actually want to follow along with what I'm doing. But essentially, this program is pretty sweet because it allows you to also record and stream. So if you want to record some videos of your desktop, you can go ahead and do that. I have actually made a video on how to do that. It's going to be linked in the description and the annotation on the screen. So definitely be sure to check that out if you want to make some videos in the future. But if you just want to stream, this is great. And it's honestly 100% better than XSplit or Fraps or anything like that. So essentially, once you've downloaded the classic version and actually set it up, I'm going to meet you guys when I actually have OBS open. Alright guys, so once you have OBS open, you should see a screen as similar to mine. You should have no scenes, no sources, basically a pretty blank screen. So from here, you want to click on settings, and this is where we're going to set up your stream quality and all that good stuff. So obviously in the general tab, it's going to be language English or whatever you speak. They have a pretty good variety, so uh, feel free to mess around with that. And in encoding, this is where you're going to actually have to refer back to your speedtest.net. So essentially, as you can see, I have a 4.22 upload speed. I don't expect you to have that. Um, honestly, chance that you probably have one lower than me. If you have one higher than me, then that's awesome. But if yours is lower than mine, around like 1 to 1.5 or anything like that, what you want to do is change this to 1,000. And if you have two, go ahead and change it to like 2,000 or maybe even 1,500. But since I have, uh, oh that's 15,000, but since I have 4, I'm just going to go ahead and change mine to 3,200. I feel that that works really well with my internet connection and I don't really, don't really lag in game. So once you've done that, make sure to copy the rest of my settings and I'm just going to quickly run you guys through my settings so you guys can go ahead and copy them and have the same stream quality. So uh, I'm going to quickly skip over this and show you guys the other settings and then we'll come back to this in a second. Alright guys, so now that you guys have seen my other settings, I just want to quickly go more in detail on the video one. So essentially my screen, or my actual like screen uh, resolution is 1920 by 1080 But for streaming, I want to stream at 720 because it's not going to be as laggy and stuff if I'm actually streaming in full at 1080p. So I'd prefer to stream at 720p. I highly recommend you doing this too if you have a, I don't know, like if your internet connection isn't as good. So, uh, even though I have a decent internet connection, I'm still going to go with 720. I don't really mind it that much. So, next thing is that we're going to go to broadcast settings. From here, make sure to pick live stream if you're going to be live streaming, or file output only if you're just going to be recording. 
but for the video purposes I'm going to be live streaming. I have made a video on how to record, so go ahead and check that out. For streaming service, we're going to pick Twitch. It might say Justin TV for you. Go ahead and pick that. And uh, once you do that, what you want to do is pick the server closest to where you live. I live near Chicago in the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, which is going to give me the best stream quality possible, essentially. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your stream key. So I just actually cleared mine out. But essentially, what you want to do is go to twitch.com. Click on your name. Make sure you're signed in. If you're not, go ahead and make an account. Sign in, click on your name, go to dashboard, and then from here you want to click on stream key. And from here what you want to do is click on show key, and you're going to get this warning. Now I actually pay attention to this warning. This warning is insanely like sensitive information if that makes sense. But essentially, if you show anyone your stream key, then they're going to be able to stream on your Twitch account without ever needing your password or anything like that. So if you want to fix that and someone does start streaming on your account, Without you knowing, all you have to do is click on reset key. But essentially, I do have my key blurred out. But what you want to do once you do see your stream key is uh, select all of it. Make sure all of it is highlighted. Right click on it and click on copy. And from there, you want to minimize your browser and go ahead and paste it all into this like OBS uh, window into the text box over here. Make sure your settings are the same as mine. Your file path doesn't really matter. I highly recommend changing the end to .mp4, it's going to make it way easier for you in the future. Trust me, if you want to edit or anything like that, mp4 is the way to go. But your file path doesn't matter, neither does your replay buffer file path. Just set it to wherever you have space on your computer. And uh, once you've done all that, you can go ahead and click apply and OK. From here you want to click add new scene, and to do that you just have to right click in this text box, or this uh, white box area. Click on add scene, and you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it at scene, and click on OK. Once you've added a scene, you can actually add a source. So you want to do the same thing and right click and hover over add, and you're going to see a pretty uh, decent amount of options. So essentially monitor capture, it's going to capture whatever is on your screen at the time. Game capture is going to capture only that game, it's not going to capture anything else besides that game. Video capture devices, if you want to put a webcam on your screen or anything like that. But essentially for the video, I'm just going to go with monitor capture. I feel like monitor capture is probably one of the easiest ways to go about things because it literally has everything on your screen. So if you have more than one monitor as I do, I'm just going to pick my main one which is the one you guys see right now. And I'm going to click on OK. Alright guys, so when I did click on OK, I accidentally also hit exit, so that's why mine kind of closed out. But essentially once you click on OK, you should see a new little box over here that called monitor capture. So if you want to make sure that it's working properly, all you have to do is click on preview stream. Once you click on preview stream, you should see your screen in the actual picture or the image. So from here you can go ahead and stop your preview and all you have to do is click on the start streaming button right here once you have your games up and all that good stuff. So as you can see I did click on start streaming. So essentially I am going to be streaming at this current time right now while I am recording this video. So I'm just going to quickly mute my mic right there, all you have to do is click on the mute button. And I'm going to open up my stream and we're going to see if it is actually there. Alright guys, so I'm opening up my stream right now. All I just did was go to www.twitch.tv backslash moz underscore. And as you can see, I do have whatever I was just doing a few seconds ago on my stream. And essentially I'm just showing me going onto my stream, which you are watching right now. It's kind of Inception or something like that. But essentially, this is how you stream to Twitch for free off your PC. You can use your Elgato game capture. You can literally use anything you want to stream to Twitch. So if you have any questions at all, be sure to comment them down below. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while guys, I lost my voice so you can probably still tell by this video that my voice is kind of fading in and out. I did lose my voice for the first time ever. It was weird, I don't know what happened, but essentially this is it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already, because I'm on way to 9,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.